Sinus infection? Is that what they decided? Ear infection. Ear infection, that's and what it is. stuffy nose and cough, and my eyes turning red. <laughs> and I got a lot of things going on there, beautiful. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Do you see that? I have more wrinkles. I have more wrinkles. It's because I'm older. Yesterday was my birthday. Had the best day celebrating. You know what? Another year has come and gone and these wrinkles I'm gonna say are just from smiling. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the birthday love, all of the comments, DMs, messages, everything. I'm so grateful for you guys. Dropping by to wish me happy birthday. Thank you so much for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. We had a really good day celebrating. So if you haven't seen that video, watch it. Really, really fun. Get a good day. Today, starting out a little bit different than we had hoped. Last couple of days, Prue and Hazy have kind of been like teeter-tottering on not feeling well. I think last night when we were eating dinner, it kind of came to a head. We were at Cheesecake Factory and we were there for four hours. You know, that gives plenty of time for anything to happen. Hazy started complaining that her ear hurt. She has been kind of congested a little bit, but I just thought like typical summer cold. I decided this morning, right whenever the doctor opened, I would call and just see if I could have her seen. Crew also is having similar symptoms. I'm wondering if he has a sinus infection. His ear doesn't hurt. I'm just gonna get them into the doctor, see what they say. You guys, our family has been really sick this summer and I don't know why. Brexton is the only one that it hasn't come for yet. Tyler was sick with influenza for a full week and then he got pneumonia from that. He was down for two weeks. Hazy and crew kind of not been feeling 100% the last couple of days. They've definitely been able to get through life. I think last night, Hazy's ear hurting. I think she's even having some congestion come out through her eyes. I'm just gonna take them to the doctor, see what they say. I just talked to the doctor. We're gonna be able to get us in there in about an hour. It's summer, you shouldn't be allowed to get sick in this summer, especially when you have less than two weeks left. has been saving his money for a little while. He got a ton from his birthday haul. Uh, it's time to go put it in the bank, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a fatty stack right there, this dude. It's pretty big. We have to go into the actual bank because this bank doesn't have a drive through We're gonna go count it out, see what it is, uh, put it into your little app, huh? Let's go do it. I know I've been quiet for a minute, I've been grinding still in it, I've been counting these digits, excuse me. I know I've been quiet for a minute, but I'm back on my business, if you see me don't trip, just excuse me. Wrong if I do, wrong if I don't, that's why I do me no matter what, so excuse me, lie if I do. He just got back from the doctor, what did he say? I got an ear infection. He didn't tell you to stop jumping on the bed? Yeah, he did tell me that. <laughs> you see, you can tell. She's in good spirits, but she does have an ear infection. I didn't even tell him what which ear. He looked in both and he goes, oh boy, that's the one. She does have a little bit of, it's not pink eye, but her one eye has been a little bit pinker and it's oozing a little bit. Not regularly like real pink eye because she's had that before, but I think the congestion is so much it's coming out of her eye. What? You're wow. crazy. And Kruby Doo, what did they tell you? I should have cold. Oh man, cold. Oh, Coming in hot. Yeah. Kruby's had congestion. We're wondering if it was maybe a sinus infection, but he's not really having that like pressure and pain mm -mm. through the sinuses. They told him some good old fashioned what? Dayquil and Nyquil. Rest. Rest. And Dayquil and Nyquil. So, just got home from CVS, went and picked up. Kirby really, really hates the um, liquid of this. So, we got oh, this for him. Me. Took it this morning and almost gagged, right? Oh, I did. It's really bad. It Pharmacist Sarah said that this might be a good thing for Hazy to take to kind of dry her up. But the doctor did call in Hazy a prescription. It's her first time ever doing pills. She also does not like swallowing disgusting medicines. So, we opted for pills. She's never done it. So, she's going to try and swallow pills for her first time. Yeah. This should take care of it. She honestly should be feeling a lot better in 24 hours, which we're really grateful for. I was out of apparently Kleenexes, so I ended up picking up another thing of Kleenex while I was there. Look at the stuff you're supposed to be doing like in the winter. This is dumb. I know. I'm so sorry, you guys. My friends were calling me to see if they could hang out, and I was like, nope, sick. That's lame. Did it go down? Oh, shoot. Okay, put more water in and then tip your head back, push it to the back of your mouth, and then swallow. I'm trying. Uh -oh. Oh. oh my god, but it's just open. <laughs> hmm. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe. I can't get it down. I did. <laughs> hey, take a little bit more water to clean out all your water everywhere. <laughs> and then you get to do it one more time. 
Yay. But the good news is you're gonna have your full day's worth of water. You might need to go change your clothes, but she got it down, right? Yeah. That was not the easiest. I'm feeling you're gonna get really good at it. You have to take two of them two times a day for 10 days. Yay. That's 40 pills. Dad just got up from editing. Boom. Most amazing Vlogs birthday ready. vlog I ever. I mean, it was your birthday, so you it made it great. It was the perfect day. The perfect day ever, July 29th. <laughs> yeah. National Cheesecake birthday. Day. I actually think it's today. National Cheesecake Day is? I think it's actually today. So you know how like your phone will give you reminders of like this day in history? kind of a thing. As much as your birthday was amazing. Cheesecake Factory, movie theater to ourselves. It's kind of sad to see like Aruba, you going to Disneyland with your friends. <laughs> We've had some pretty epic birthdays in the last few years. I really years. have had some pretty epic birthdays. <laughs> I'll settle key, for one just giving me raisin nets. nets. I mean, you're getting older, you gotta slow down a little, okay? okay. My bowels aren't gonna be slowing down with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, produce. Okay. Yeah. So we just got home from the doctors, but we did have some pretty astonishing news come, you right? Have so you know they check you times. in, they weigh you. Yes, my least favorite part. <laughs> I know. I mean, lately. So I know. <laughs> Let's so, see how much weight you've gained. <laughs> they weighed crew. Took his height. Crew, what's your height? I am five six. Five, officially, six? officially. Okay. What have you been telling people you are? I've been telling five five. Because you're taller than you. He's taller than mine. And they even put me under the measurer She's thing, five, and I am officially shorter than him by a whole inch. So you are taller than mom, officially on record, doctor verified. But how much have you grown? Like, In what was the one last year? His last visit to the doctor measuring his height was August third of last year. Crew, how many inches have you grown in one year? So in less than one year. Three. Bro, you're hitting the growth spurt. Three inches. I mean, Three I know. Inches. They I have said a feeling average you might, is two, two inches. I have a feeling that you could be doing one of these ones where you go in and like in six months you've grown like four inches. Like that's the, yeah. like the burst that we're looking for. But three inches in less than a year. So that's you, not that bad. I mean, I think this one's growing right now too because she won't stop eating. Sometimes we joke that maybe you're not growing and it's because you don't ever eat your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but now, conf confirmed you are growing, bro. Three inches, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, keep your faces away from each other. I'm not Is he taking, sick or something? I'm not taking care of you when you're sick. That's a, that's a so task. Body aches, body aches. I'm gonna go lay down for the rest of the week. For the rest of the week. <laughs> hey, congrats, dude. That's huge. Uh, Hazy also. Wait, did he have his hat on when he did it? Was that the three inches right there? Since September, she's grown two and a half inches, so I can't wait to see what she is mm -hmm. in another month. Mm -hmm. But she's growing really tall. She's getting some height on her. And this one, his booty's the only thing that's growing. <laughs> go down, go down, go down. With uh, the diagnosis of everyone being sick, we probably should be staying away from each other, but instead what we're gonna do is just kind of take it easy, rest, relax, and all get in the same room. <laughs> Hang out in the same room together, but the room is a giant movie theater. So I saw yesterday at mom's birthday, went and saw a fun movie. Well, we actually had been dying to finish a movie that we started on Disney Plus a couple nights ago, and as we were at the movie theater, kids just kept saying, can't wait to go home and finish the movie tonight. What is it called? The Young Woman in the Sea or something like that? Young Woman in the Sea, yeah. Young Woman. Anyways, we started it and got absolutely hooked. Stayed way later than we should have the other night. So uh, good. But it's longer than we thought, so we still have like 35, 40 minutes left. It's kind of like the climax of the whole thing is about the woman who swam the entire English Channel. First woman to ever do that. Trudy. Trudy, yes, Trudy. Trudy. We're, we're really, really into it. Because the Cheesecake Factory saga took like four hours, we got home at like 11 o'clock at night last night, so we did not have time. Finished the movie, the kids were kind of bummed, so we thought, hey, since we can't really do a lot today, we had planned on going and getting school supplies, back to school supplies, doing some shopping, things like that. But because the kids aren't feeling great, Hazy's got sinus infection, is that what they decided? Ear infection. Ear infection, that's and what it is. A little bit of a stuffy nose and cough, and my eyes turning red. Yeah. Yeah, so you kind of got a lot of things going on there, beautiful. And crew's got a cold, but we're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna gather here in the theater, relax, let the kids get some rest, give them plenty of liquids, finish watching this fun movie as a family that we wanted to finish last night on mom's birthday, which is good because tomorrow we got a lot of action packed tomorrow. I don't even know if these kids know oh, yeah, what's so going on tomorrow. tomorrow do you know what's going on tomorrow morning? You do? Tell everybody you're making wait a little bit longer. Wait a little bit longer. Okay, <laughs> maybe we finish the movie and then we'll tell everybody what's happening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Up that movie, and I gotta say, I might just be tired. Maybe everybody being a little bit sick got us uh, feeling a little worn down, but I got emotional multiple times in that movie. That thing was a sneaky sleeper hit, Young Woman in the Sea or Young Woman in the Sea on Disney Plus. And it's the history, the story of a woman who swam the English Channel faster than anyone had ever done it before. So many cool, true things about that. Like, I didn't realize it was the largest parade to this day they've ever thrown for any athlete in New York City. She did it, I think, two hours faster than anyone else had ever done it before. I don't know. I just loved watching like the mom encourage her daughters to do something that 
no one was doing at the time. Sat there and watched it with Hazy in my arm. Like, Hazy, you would never understand what any of this is like because you have a swimming pool in your backyard. If you want to go swim, you just go swim and look at all the things that this mom had to do. Make it just so that her kids could swim so that then that one daughter could go on and be the first woman to swim across the English Channel faster than ever been done. I don't know. There were so many elements to it wrapped up in that finish when she finally makes it there and all the support around that, all of like the celebration. Like I said, maybe we're just tired. Maybe it was having Hazy there with me, but got pretty emotional at the finish there. Fantastic movie. And I would say that we did not expect to be as good as it was. Mom was just flipping through and said, hey, let's try this one out. And so we did. Didn't know much about it. Pretty low expectations. And it was fantastic. But the kids now are resting up. As we've said, they are not feeling well. Hazy is actually hanging out in our bedroom, one of the places that she's come to love when she's not feeling well. She broke her arm on the last day of school, first day of summer last year. She spent those first few weeks just kind of laying on my side of the bed, hanging out with me or mom, sometimes with Brexton as well, sometimes her brothers. And I think it's where she goes when she doesn't feel well. She's there now, hanging out in our bedroom. Could we do taking a little rest as well? Me and Brexton gonna hang out a little bit. But a couple of errands we have to run for some cool things coming up here in the next couple days. We'll tell you guys a little bit more about later in the vlog, hopefully. Hi, Daddy. How's your ear feel? It hurts. Does it hurt, kind of? You wanna have some medicine? Yeah. Are you making my side of the bed sick? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an ear infection from like sleeping on the same ear pillow that she's using? You okay? Because <laughs> she's just laying in. No, she actually has her ear hurts really bad. She's just been sleeping on my pillow, resting. You cannot. Will I get an ear infection from that? Do you know what? Because I would Joe do that for you. Made the perfect medicine for an ear infection. Is not. These are oatmeal, oatmeal raisin, raisin cookies. cookies. <laughs> they are my so, favorite. So ironically, if you guys saw yesterday's video, I kind of spoiled mom big time with some super <laughs> old lady candies and kind of funny things. My mom gave her almost the exact same thing. She got me raisinets. Raisinets, oatmeal raisin cookies. My my favorite cookies at Disneyland. My favorite treat at Disneyland. They're oatmeal so weird. raisin cookie in the bakery. So weird. Sorry, Hazy. This is about you, you and your one? hurt ear. It's not going to help. Do you want to try it? It will not help. Make okay, you I'll older. have it. It instantly mm -hmm. makes you older. So let's get Hazy her medicine. Is upstairs. Oh, it's upstairs. I'll go get it. Here, we'll wait right here. Did you video her trying to swallow that pill? Yes. It was Sounds funny. Good. Slash. It's like, just swallow it! <laughs> this reminds me of when you had your book on right here the whole time. <laughs> We've got all the kids <laughs> drugged up. No, they've got their prescriptions, medication. Just about to do round two with Hazy on the pills. And Guys. I really hope it goes better than the first one. I, I happen to see the video footage of how difficult that was. Do not think to cut it in half for her. Oh. thing is enormous. It's but like I a horse really tranquilizer. It, it is kind of a big pill for a little kid. I like, think it's I huge. I think it's the act of actually swallowing. It is. It. But I think to get started, maybe let's try cutting them in half. Do it's going to be four separate four? swallows, <laughs> but let's just see if the first one goes a lot easier. Man, that was an ordeal. Uh, <laughs> My goodness. Could we do though? He's doing great. Just rest and liquids for that guy. We'll get over the yeah. Man cold pretty quickly, I believe. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. maybe a little case of the man cold. Uh, guys, by the way, tomorrow we've got some very <laughs> serious, big, major, crazy things going on. I tomorrow? don't know how to tee this up. I don't even know. I don't even know how you. I, I will tell you that it involves a cyber truck and our swimming pool. Is that crazy enough to make uh, you want to come back? Because uh, I'm intrigued. So come back. Don't miss it. It's gonna be awesome, you guys. We love you. We'll see you later. Good night, everybody. Bye. Get the pill to the back of your mouth. Oh, oh my God, it's dissolving. Oh my gosh, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe. I did.